We loved Fat Boy Slim, didn't we? We loved Fat Boy For a brief Slim, time. didn't we? A brief, a brief moment. He was our national bard, really. A little pig-faced British man at a piano, talking about the funk soul brother, talking about praising you. Weapons of choice. Oh man, don't ask me about the floating rock. I have no fucking idea. I am not a science guy. Don't call me that. I'm not Bill Nye. I'm uh, remarkably narrow in my understanding of the world. Not even understanding, because obviously that's not a For anyone, certainly. Rather, uh, watching it. I think that it's um, it's a little weird how it's balanced because it's very short uh, very short scenes up until the, the bomb going off and then as soon as you get to the, the dueling uh, conferences uh, the scenes get longer or they feel longer. Uh, and you know that is an accurate way to, to depict someone's life retrospectively. You know, it gets longer as you get closer to the end. It stretches out you know, like a, a singularity. 
Uh, we know our boy uh, Nolan loves his time dilation. So I think the, the latter half of drags a little bit. Although the latter half does have my favorite scene in the movie, which is Gary Oldman's demonic kick. Terry Truman uh, just being fully contemptuous of Oppenheimer's uh, intentions of moral ambiguity. Uh, and I think people have said, like, some people have interpreted that scene as uh, Harry Truman uh, wanting the credit for the bomb. Others are saying, no, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's indicting Oppenheimer. Uh, Howard, the thing is, it's, it's, they're both true. You know? There is the horror of the realization of this guy who had convinced himself we have to build the bomb so that people will be properly afraid of him. Coming face to face with who people in charge are and who how they are not people who give a shit about any of that stuff. In fact, they're people who are turned on by the prospect of mass death and who are going to be morbidly compelled to move closer and closer towards us. That's who accumulates around power. So I think But also there is something more virtuous to Truman's maybe psychopathic acceptance of responsibility. I dropped the bomb. I didn't think it was like a dry baby. Because I don't see how anybody can see the movie as a thing that's virtuous to excusing Oppenheimer's character. It's deeply, deeply critical as a character. It's a cipher and power. Thank 
Thank <laughs> you. 